Thank you. Tonight, for the first time, we are hearing from the family of a priest accused of stealing from his Delray Beach church. So why are they speaking out now? CBS 12 Suzanne Boyd joins us now live with her exclusive interview. Suzanne? Well, Kurt, they're talking for a couple of reasons. First of all, they want Father John Skeen out of prison because he has prostate cancer and they fear he won't survive his 14-month sentence. But they also want to clear his name. They say he is not the man he has been portrayed in the media. So much has been said about him is not been fair. Sean Skeen is extremely close with his uncle, the same uncle who is sitting behind bars accused of stealing from St. Vincent Ferrer Catholic Church, where he was pastor for almost 40 years. Unfortunately, he's been depicted as someone who is not anything like him at all. He is not a gambler. He has always lived extremely modestly. He is not a womanizer. This all started with Father John Skeen's successor, Father Francis Guinan, who detectives say was using the church's money to fund a lavish lifestyle. Guinan, in my investigation, was just out and out blatant thievery of the, to the point that the bookkeepers had to hide money in the ceiling just so that they could pay the bills, knowing he was going to walk out of there with the cash. The investigation into Guinan revealed that Skian before him had misappropriated funds too, but his family says Skian was doing it to help build up the church. No, he did not live that kind of lifestyle. He was a very humbled man. He was always on the property. He was always amongst his community. Father Skian does have three siblings in Ireland and traveled to their farms often, but the allegations of him owning a bar there, his family says, are ludicrous. At one point, you know, one former uh, employee said that there was a a, a, a pub in Ireland, you know, completely unfounded, completely untrue. The family is now focusing on getting Skian out from behind bars. They have just learned that he has prostate cancer and worry he may not survive his 14-month sentence. But whatever happens, they say Skian has not lost his faith. I and mean, I believe that is truly what carries him through is his deep-rooted faith in God, and he offers all of this up to God right now. Now, Father Skian was remorseful. He pleaded guilty and paid hundreds of thousands of dollars in restitution. The prosecutor originally said that Skian should only get probation, but he's now fighting this motion to let him out of prison. We don't know why. The prosecutor did not return our call for comment. Now, the other priest, Guinan, who you saw, by the way, is serving a four-year sentence. Kurt?